Well, good evening, everybody. How are we doing? Been raining here in Tennessee. It's been raining for years. Got uh, good old Jerry King TV with us tonight. And great big how to do, everybody. Maybe down here. Do I? I don't know. Maybe. I think so, uh, well, I, you know, I don't know. Well, there's old spooky pookie there. Say hi to everybody in here. Give me just a second. All right. Hey, DJ. Hey, Frank. Uh, Robin. Beans and taters. Myers. Give my love to Hope. Hey, Susan. Christopher. Angie and Joey. Mary Ann. Hey, Dawn. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hi, Nancy. And then, of course, Spooky Appalachia. Oh, Spooky Dookie. Hi, Betsy. Hey, Bat Rican. And LeBron, this is the way. Hey, look at there. Jared King TV, a member for two months. Thank you so much. Yeehaw. Thank you, thank you, thank you. LeBron, fit, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, David. Can I say something real quick? Well, hang on, just one second. Let me get that off. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, if uh, everybody would, uh, please keep our awesome little niece hope in your prayers till she's completely back up on her feet and well and everything, as well as her parents, all of and Stephen, and uh, <clears throat> also our good brother, uh, Alligator Horse. He lost one of his fur babies this season. They had oh. to put her down because of uh, complications with her hair. So I said, just we know we all know how rough that is too, you know. So I said they're like they're our young and so I said just keep him in your prayers. Yeah, we'll keep everybody in our prayers. Everybody that needs it, you got it. Hey, David, how you doing, brother? Hey, Jaguar. Fine, Cigar. How you and the missus doing? He says big hello to Laura and Jared, Beth, and I. Hope you are. Have a safe, fun, and blessed trip to Virginia. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't even stand it. Yep. <laughs> you know how animals get the zoomies and they'll take off running through the house? Well, I got the zoomies this afternoon and got excited and just smacked the crap out of Jared. <laughs> You're hey, welcome, Steve. You're welcome, brother. Let's see here. Hey, uh, where was I? Hey, Paula. And Chris. Hey, Ken Folk, how you doing? Hey, Dormia. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Creek Walker. There's Frank again. And wait a minute. Oh, really? Did you pay LeBron $20 to come say hi? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Florna. Let's see. Yeah. Hi, Lucinda. Welcome. I'm glad to have you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you have a fun time tonight. I just sit around and, and cut up and go on. And, yeah, that's it. And we uh, share a few laughs and uh, send prayers to people. You know. Hey, yeah, buddy, we miss you too, brother. Man, like I said, here lately, we ain't had time to breathe hardly. <laughs> I know. We've been, been everywhere, all over the place getting things together and wait a minute david said jared told me i get biscuits and gravy to be here i ain't got it yet well you're gonna be waiting <laughs> uh david they're in the oven <laughs> hey cassie how you doing sister lebron says what's your favorite scary movie well um if you've been around my channel for the three years that i've i've been on here everybody in the grandmama knows that my favorite set of scary movies is the Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses series. All three of them. My favorite movies. I absolutely love Captain Spaulding. My favorite scary movie of all time is Young Frankenstein. That's not a scary movie. That's why I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's got old Marty Feldman and uh, Gene Wilder. <laughs> You're something else. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Lord. 
Well, we're praying that y'all will be out of there tomorrow. Amen to that. I tell you what, Stephen sent me that picture this morning. I tell you what, and that just made my whole day right there, seeing her smile like it. Hey, PPR. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, uh, Young Frankenstein is a classic movie, but that wasn't an actual uh, scary movie, so. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the uh, scary movie buff. I, I love all scary movies. Um, but I tend to lean towards the the House of a Thousand Corpses movies. I just really liked... You ever seen that one where Abbott and Costello goes to the Ozarks? Again, not scary. I know, again, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> now, why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? <laughs> Let's see. That guy that played Otis gave me a cookie. Really? Wow. Jared is scary, LeBron says. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It skipped on me, and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, Chris Bertel told in the dark. Cassie is awesome. She's amazing been with us for a long 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 time she's an amazing creator and we just absolutely love her. oh yeah and uh angie i believe i know what you're trying to say that's frankenstein yeah <laughs> uh, the candle back <laughs> abby normal yeah abby abby normal <laughs> sean what's going on brother good to see hey, you, sean man. we sit here talking about young frankenstein my favorite movie my favorite scary movie. I was asked what my favorite scary movie was, and uh, well, Sean knows. <laughs> what Betsy said. Your Captain Spaulding backdrop is what inspired Poppet. I love it. I love it. Love it. Where'd he go? There it is. It's where I got my heartless tattoo. See, Sean knows. Sean knows. Sean knows. Uh, not this last Halloween, but the Halloween before, um, we did uh, dressing up for like a week of, of Halloween. And when it came to my night to be able to pick the the movies, from uh, scary movies from what we were going to dress up from, I chose the uh, House of a Thousand Corpses series. And Sean Cody dressed up as Otis, yeah, and awesome. I dressed up as Captain Spaulding. I did the whole bald cap, painted my face, had the uh, had the whole uh, clown costume, and I made every bit of it myself. And uh, Sean Cody come in with a, a blonde wig and the flannel shirt and the t shirt and everything. It was it was great. Wait a minute, what did Jimmy say? Mine is wrong turn. It's very close to home for me. <laughs> <laughs> Which one though? There's there's five of them or more. I think they only made five. I can't remember. I used to have the whole collection of the wrong turn movies. That's my kind of scary movie too, Jared. Beetlejuice. Yes. It's showtime. It goes with the most babes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dormia says, hey, everybody, so glad to be here with y'all. So sorry for all the sickness and for the loss of your pet. Love and prayers to everybody. Christopher o says, oh, goodness, any of y'all older folks remember Salem's Lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. It. Oh, is that one of the ones that I had on VHS yeah, and I is. didn't get to see the end of it? It was also the same thing with, y'all remember The Stand? Oh Lord, I remember. Oh, oh my! I goodness. was so upset. She had never seen the original, The Stand, right? She had never seen it all the way through. Uh, well, we borrowed some uh, movies from my uncle once. He had every one of them on VCR tapes, right? Well, this is back when our boys was real little and everything. We got them to sleep, and we sat up one night. 
we sat up most of the night and most of the next into the next morning watching him. And you want to tell them what happened? Okay, so we got to the last bit of the movie. You know, it's just getting right to the meat of the whole thing. And probably the last, what, 20 minutes? The last 20 minutes yeah. of the movie did not record. And he never got the rest of it. And it took me years to get to see the rest of the end of the movie. I was so mad. But, I was so upset. But now with me... I think a lot like the old classic horror movies is a lot better than today's because they didn't have the special the the special effects that they do today and it just seems more real. Yeah. You know. Everything now is uh what do you call that? CGI. Yeah, the the fake stuff, you know, and you can see a mile away that it's, you know, yeah, anim but, animated or, you know, whatever. Animatronic stuff. See, now, see, back then, you know, back in the old days, actors actually had to have talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had to actually be able to act. Um, I remember when CGI started becoming a real thing, you know, like movies really started using a lot of it. And the first movie that I remember going to the theater to see that had a lot of the CGI it was Anaconda. Oh, yeah. I hate snakes, but I wanted to see this movie. All right. So I'm sitting like front row of the movie theater, looking up and watching it, and this big snake comes flying across the screen there. And I'm looking up at it, and I'm so close that I can see the um, the graphic outline, like the little squares all through it. And I'm like, okay, well, that made it a whole lot less scary. Still a good movie, though. Still a good movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I said, uh, that's like, well, it, it's, it's kind of like, uh, like I said, the actors and stuff like that and everything, it's kind of like, uh, comedians. Okay. In my opinion, if a comedian can make you double over laughing and wipe tears away and everything, make, you know, laughing and not say a single dirty word, that's talent. Oh yeah. That's a natural talent. Right oh there. yeah. Um, who was it? Sinbad. Oh, Lord. Sinbad. Sinbad. Tickle, he tickles me dead. Oh, he was absolutely hilarious. He never did have to say anything. Well, not... He didn't get dirty. Hey, DJ. How you doing, sister? But he was funny. Uh, Fine Cigar wants to know, Jerry, do you like Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, Lord, yeah. That's I love one of that. our favorite movies. Yeah. I like it. Uh, there was another question up here. David says... What's Young's favorite television show? Oh. Well, my favorite TV show would be Andy Griffith. Uh, well, and between Andy and uh, the Beverly Hillbillies, as far as, like, classics. But I also love, like, the Three Stooges and uh, 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 I Love Lucy. Pretty much all the classics, you know, the Monsters. Um, Adam's Family. Adam's Family. Yeah, the ones like that, you know, Hogan's Heroes, MASH, you know, things like that. Uh, as far as like newer TV shows, um, M1 fellas tick with me half day of them. Uh, The Big Bang Theory. I like I like watching the big. I like I like the Big Bang Theory. I like the Big Bang Theory, but my favorite TV show that I always end up going back to is probably I'd have to say Roseanne. Roseanne had, was one of the TV shows that I remember watching with my mama, you know, growing up. And I, even to this day, will still go back and watch all of them. So I have to say Roseanne's my absolute favorite, but I'll watch pretty much anything if it's got a good plot and stuff to it. If it's going around in circles, I get a little tired of it. I remember... That movie scared the beans out of me. I hate snakes. <laughs> I don't like snakes either, but I wanted to see it because all my friends was seeing it. So you know how it is. And Jared is the man of constant sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. I would never watch real scary movies. I mean, I I'll tell you what. I seen somebody on here a second ago said something about the exorcist. I think I might have made it up. I don't know. <laughs> but I will tell you something about the original Exorcist movie. 
you can watch it a hundred times and you know, it's, it's fine. You read that book and that book will scare you more than the movie will. And I can guarantee that. I read the book and it scared the crap out of me for a month. And I like all of the American Horror Story uh, seasons up until the last two or three. Uh, it kind of got out of the, the realm of, you know, my interest. My favorite uh, season of American Horror Story, though, was Freak Show. That was my favorite. Where they were in the circus stuff. That was my favorite one. Uh, yeah, you just talking about old brother, where art thou? Uh, I was in there here a while back, and my son started playing that, uh, that old bluegrass song, with Sally Gooden. Got that banjo stuff in and everything. Uh -huh. And uh, he held his camera up and everything, and he started playing that song and everything. Well, I started dancing the whole mountain music to it and everything. And I kind of looked like old uh, George Clooney, the way he was a dancing on there, the old brother. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of looked like he had to get in there. <laughs> hey, Dave, that's one that's one i sent to uh gary the other night oh yeah um that's the uh y'all are agreeing with me with the books are better uh i also love all of the silence of the lambs uh series you know, that was a series of movies because it started out with uh manhunter then it went to uh silence of the lambs then it went to Han uh hannibal the movie then it went to Red Dragon. So there was like a four in the set. And the book for Hannibal was a whole lot better and more descriptive than the movie was. The Shining. That movie is good the first couple times for me. But they wore it out. It, like It's like it got played so much on regular television. On, uh, good Lord, what channel was it that it used to come on? Monster Vision. Jared, what channel was that? Oh, Lord, Monster I don't Vision. Remember. Was that TBS? Don't no, TNT? Jay, what, uh, J. Bob Briggs. Oh, I was going to marry that man. When <laughs> I was about nine or ten or something like that, I don't know if y'all remember the TV show uh, Monster Vision, but it had the host was Joe Bob Briggs. Kind of like old Ben Gooley. Oh, I was going to marry that man when I got older. I was also going to marry Swamp Thing, so I don't know what was going on with me. But and the Incredible Hulk. Hey, I tell I tell you, uh, <laughs> Lou Ferrigno though. I tell you somebody else that'll make me double over laughing and wipe tears, and that's Leslie Nielsen. Uh, like I said, that uh, like he said, is he is hilarious. Lord, you can't leave out Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell was good, like I said, but <laughs> he's funny. Hey, yeah, he, he was. He was funny, and he could make he, he make me laugh. But like I said, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, I was just talking about him. Leslie Nielsen. Oh, yeah. Leslie Nielsen can make me laugh. Like I can wipe I'm wiping tears. Oh, he is. Especially on him, uh, Naked Gun movies. Oh, gosh. Um, I liked it when he did that. Uh, he did the uh, marathon for the Stooges. Oh, yeah. And he graduated from uh, NYUK. NY UK. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> but, yeah. Dormy, I'm right there with you, sister. I don't like the most scary shows. I, you give me a good comedy or a good classic any day of the week, and I'm good to go. But, you know, I always had a, a weakness, a soft spot for the terrible B-rate movies. I've always had a soft spot for those because they were always done so horribly. But you could tell somebody put a lot of work into it. They just didn't have enough, <laughs> I guess, money to really get it out there. And like I said, my all-time favorite B-rate movie will always be Redneck Zombies. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it is so bad that it's good. I mean, bad. Like, listen, so to kill the zombies, you had to have a certain kind of deodorant to spray on them, and that's what killed them. That's how bad. <laughs> and the zombie uh, virus was spread because a bunch of rednecks got up a nuclear waste drum and made their shine in that nuclear waste barrel. I remember that movie. <laughs> it was so uh, unfortunately. Mm. I love it. I love it. Yes, Sean, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is my number two 
I love clowns. But my, I just I have that weak spot for redneck zombies. I don't know why. You know what was wild is back in the back in the uh, 80s, you know, when Maximum Overdrive came out, you know, that was actually <laughs> considered a B-rate movie. And yeah, I don't know why. That was a great movie. I never considered that to be a B-rate because that was like top notch for its time. Yeah. If you think about it. Of course, the truck on there was just awesome. I mean, it had Emilio Estevez and all of them on, you know. Yeah. Then, the, like I said, the truck, you know, and you know, ACDC did the complete soundtrack. They had that big, uh, that van that had ACDC on the side of it. Yeah. What was the, um, what was that, Toys for Joys? I can't even remember. Oh, Lord, Sharknado. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love those, too. They're so great. Hang on, I guess somebody came in. I got to say hi to here. Native Pride Paranormal. Hello and welcome. How to do. Wait, nope. I am so sorry. I hit the wrong button. What'd you do? I unhit him. Okay. <laughs> I hit him, but I didn't mean to. I was. I dropped my phone. <laughs> well, do we do an app? <laughs> I am so sorry about that. You're all right. You're good now. I said I do apologize for that. I have only been to the drive-in theater, I think, one time, and I don't even remember what the movie was. I can't remember what it was. It was too long ago. Let's see. Zoe, hi, how are you? Hey, Zoe, how you doing, sister? Good to see you. And you said the three of us will be the chicken squad. Lord. <laughs> hey, Creekwalker said he got his hearing blowed out. At an ACDC concert, the Who May Who concert. Yeah, that's one thing about ACDC. You can go to one of their concerts and you're deaf for a week. I have good news to share with everybody. Our oldest boy today got his driver's license. Yep, he, he did. got his sure driver's enough. license. I am so tickled. I'm so proud. I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. <laughs> so who all is getting flooded out today? Lord, I tell you what's the truth. It rained here. I mean, it come a frog strangler. And like I said, and it come down so hard, the rain was literally bouncing off the, off the pavements and stuff and everything. And it done that for about five minutes, and then it was just like drizzling the rest of the day, on and off. And then it come back again this evening, yeah. not too long ago, and come down just like pouring buckets. And I was like, well, all right then. Lorna, thank you so much, sister. Yeah, he's tickled to death. Oh, yeah, he's proud. He's He's gone. He said, I'm going to my friend's house. I said, be careful the road's wet. <laughs> Native Pride said, I was after a KISS concert. Did they get real loud, too? I've never been to a KISS concert. Thank you, uh, Native. Steve said you keep that part of the rain, Tennessee. <laughs> he said, don't worry, I need to walk outside. So. <laughs> hey, you ain't going to melt, Stephen. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, Betsy, you're a woman after my own heart. She was deaf after a Metallica concert. Girl. <laughs> Girl. That's where Angus's middle name comes from. See, Angus, our oldest son, is named for the, Angus Young. Angus Young from ACDC. My favorite guitar player. And his middle name is a Metallica song, which is Orion. So Metallica was always my favorite band. And ACDC was Jerry's for the longest time. Polly, you've never been to a concert? Polly in here? Yeah, Paula. Oh, you said Polly. I thought I was. Thinking, I said Paula. You said Polly. No, I didn't. He did. Everybody you just did. heard. You just need to clean oh, yours okay. out. <laughs> well, I heard seen something. Uh, Rock and Robin Bird. I'm seeing Metallica in August. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Betsy said that was my first concert, the Black Album. Oh man, I bet that was. That wild. was their best album, in my opinion. The Black Album was my favorite. Reload and the Black Album was my two favorites. Oh, uh, yeah, you got Grayson it. says, you got King Festy, he is watching on TV. Love you, Grayson. King Festy. 
Keep us <laughs> One more week. One more week. One more week. Can we stand it? No, we can't. <laughs> Paula, you got to go to a concert. Tell Chris to take you one. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be bringing my guitar and amp to King Fest. So we'll be uh, doing a little picking and grinning. Like I said, if uh, uh, keeping Appalachia, he gets to come, everything. I say he's going to try to bring his guitar and stuff and everything. So. Angie went to Van Halen in 1982. I wasn't even born yet, Angie. Creek Walker said con first concert was Van Halen, ZZ Top, and Blackfoot. Oh. Neat. Five Cigar says Ted Nugent will blow your ears off too. The Motor City Madman. Y'all, y'all listening to the music of my soul. <laughs> Ted Nugent, Stranglehold, man. That's my absolute favorite I like Ted playing Nugent. that on guitar oh i love it i love to hear him play it i make him play it a lot <laughs> he's like i don't want to play that no more i'm like well i don't care i want to listen to it <laughs> that and cat scratch fever yeah it's good i used to be able to pick a little guitar but i wasn't nothing like what jerry can do see in my opinion i'm just old shade tree picker i learned to play by ear and stuff like that and everything so i ain't nothing fancy but like i said my favorite music is 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Native. Guar. You saw Guar? Oh, man. The, I was always very confused by them because they looked, you know, like death metal, but they sounded like not hard music. It always very, I was very confused by them. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, brother? Hi, Good Jeff. That's all right. Better late than never. Possibly the best concert I've ever. Like, oh, now that's it right there. B.B. King. Yes, sir. Right you got. there. Oh, my Lord. I trade every single concert I've ever been to to go see them right there. Wow. Man alive. Native said, I worked the first Texas Jam Cotton Bowl. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Wow. Jaguar, hang on. Where you at? All Jaguar. right. Hang on. Wait I got Jaguar says, I'm going to Leonard Skinner ZZ Top concert this spring. Oh, man, that'll oh. be wild. Uh, I got I to got, I got lay some blues knowledge on you now. Uh-oh. You know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm a blues fan there. B.B. Uh, King, his guitar, Lucille. Does anybody know where that came about? Because I can tell you. What that was, a lot of people thought he had one guitar that he called uh, Lucille. He called all of his guitars Lucille for a reason. The reason that was, he's at a, you know, when he first started, you know, getting to play, you know, like on like a, you know, like uh, in front of people and things like that. He was at a club one night or a little bar like deal, you know. And uh, there was a woman in there and everybody, there was people fighting over and everything else. And her name was Lucille. Her name was Lucille. And it, they started fighting over stuff and everything else. The whole place caught on fire. And he had saved up and bought his guitar. Well, he jumped up and took off running because the whole place was on fire burning down. Well, he run back in and got his guitar. And ever since then, he's named him Lucille to remind himself to stay humble. Yep. Jeff says, hands down, Ozzy. Okay, but but which era of Ozzy? Ozzy with Randy Rose? Ozzy with Zach Wilde? Because there's different eras, just kind of like with ACDC, you know, there was... Um, Brian Johnson, Bon Scott. Yeah, there was Bon Scott, and then there was Brian Johnson. I prefer Brian Johnson. Just my opinion. Oh, I could talk music all night. All these folks listen to my stuff. Creek Walker's seen Ozzy five times. <laughs> Sean said he went to... Oh, man, Robert Plant Jimmy Page. I loved when Page and Plant, you know, after they were Zeppelin, you know, when they were just Page and Plant, I loved the way they did Gallows Pole Live. Oh, yeah. When they had the, uh, the minstrel music coming on with them and doing that. Oh, my God, man. I had hair raised up on my arms when they did that. Hi, Daryl. We're talking about music. <laughs> hey, Daryl. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. 
uh, Creek Walker says, Randy, Jakey e. Lee, and Zach was all awesome. I see, I have to lean more towards Zach Wild. I like his style better. She likes Zach better. I did. He had long blonde hair and a big old beard. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Miss Medusa. Hi, Miss Medusa. Welcome. We're just sitting here talking about music. Jump in wherever you want to. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to think. Okay, let's ask him some for some uh, real uh, music knowledge here. Who all knows who Black Oak, Arkansas is? Yeah, because that's one of my favorite bands. Don't say nothing yet. Let's see who who knows and, and what was their most heard song, if y'all know. I know Sean knows, I think. Steven. Steven knows? Yeah. We're talking about one now. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, Jimmy knows. One of the best concerts. Okay, Beans and Taters has never heard of them, but Jimmy knows who they are. Oh, I love Black Label Society. Native, I love them. <laughs> Let's see. Nancy knows who they are. Stephen knows who they are. Angie, I'm not a Randy Rhodes fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And as she says, it sounds familiar. All right. There it is. Stephen, come in with it. Jim and Daddy to the rescue. And there's yep. Native, yep. Yeah, they had the tax man, son of a gun. Oh, I mean, but my favorite song. Hot Rod. My favorite song. How's it karma? No. Black Oak, Arkansas. Hot. Oh, hot and nasty. And nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. Yeah. Oh, the Chainsaw song. I forgot about that one. No, it was the love song for the Chainsaw. I'm your Chainsaw. <laughs> I remember it. Chainsaw, Chainsaw, Chainsaw. No, honey. You remember they did the lead break with the Chainsaw. That was Jackal. That was Jackal. Holy crap. No, that was Jackal, native. That was Jackal. I remember now because Ross had the tattoo on his arm. Now, Black Oak might have had a song called the Chainsaw song. I don't remember. And they say, you know, he might be talking about, like I said, uh, Native might be talking about something different. Jimmy got Rick rolled. <laughs> I, hey, I Rick rolled him the other night. I Rick rolled him. I got Jimmy. There are people out there, folks, that are getting uh, tattoos of QR codes. And when you use your phone and uh, scan that QR, QR code, you get Rick rolled. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, uh, Stephen, let me tell you something, man. They don't make love songs like they did back when Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show did them. Hey, that's that's all good, Native. I get a little excited and and, and forget stuff too. Um, yeah, I think Jim Dandy was their biggest hit. I think. Yeah, that was their most popular one. That's, that's the one that I had heard. Everybody knows. Yeah. All right, here's another uh, pretty uncommon heard of name. Let's see if y'all know who this is. Goose Creek Symphony. And if you know the name of the song, say it. I Me and Jared knows. I don't know how many of y'all's going to know. The girl that sang with Black Oak, I used to know her name. Oh, I can't remember uh, it. Um... That's going to drive me crazy now. You'll have to Google it. I'll tell you another good mountain group, too. That was the uh, Ozark Mountain Daredevils. <laughs> Miss Medusa, that is great. I love it. <laughs> she says she's got a big QR code hanging on her door. Rick Rowe, everybody, we're on our way out. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Blackfoot Train Train. Oh, but they don't know who Goose Creek Symphony is. Take me on out of this town. Yep. All right. So Goose Creek Symphony did a song that I absolutely fell in love with years ago called Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road. <laughs> Come on, Sting. Yeah. If y'all get a chance, look it up. It is great. Oh, I, I'm sorry. If anybody likes Janis Joplin, I'm so sorry, but I can't. I can't. I don't. I don't like Janis Joplin. I'm sorry. I just can't deal with it. Roadkill. <laughs> yep. Ruby uh, Star. Ruby Star. That's it. 
There you go, fine cigar. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but Angie, you were talking about. Hey, Sherry. Uh, you were talking about Randy Rhodes earlier. Back when I was real young in my fingers, I didn't have arthritis in my knuckles and stuff. Everything, Laura can tell you this. I could play Randy Rhodes' lead note for note uh, on Crazy Train. Yep. I could play along with the album. I mean, note for note. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. How you doing, sister? Wait a minute. What? What was they playing? What, Jimmy? What was they playing? I got lost. I was trying to say hi to everybody coming in, and I don't know what you're talking about. Stink in the high heavens. That's it. Yep. Yep. Come on, stink. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I love that song. Yeah, Jeff Molly Hatchet was good too. Thirty-eight special. Almond Brothers. I love the Almond Brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good music. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's not the name of the you know, song. <laughs> it's Rick Ashley. Never going to give you up. <laughs> uh, back when uh, I used to have a buddy of mine, like I said, because I always hung out with, you know, folks older than me, even when I was like, even when I was like a 16, 17 year old, I was hanging out with people like 40, 50 years old. So I was hanging out with a buddy of mine one night. And uh, I said, cause I'm just, uh, people my own age back when I was younger got on my nerves. Well, I said, I was uh, hanging out with this fellow one night, a good buddy of mine. And he was telling me, said that uh, he uh, said he hung out, he used to hang out with Greg and Dwayne Allman. Well, I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's neat and everything, you know, it's going on and stuff. And, uh, because he had been known to tell a few tall tales. But I weren't calling him a liar or nothing. I just said, oh, that's neat and stuff and everything. Well, about a week later, he shows up at the house once and everything. He said, I got something to show you. And he brought in and uh, throw down a stack of pictures of him and Greg and Dwayne all and stuff. Awesome. Sitting around, playing guitar, drunk. <laughs> now, that's Jared's band. I'm not a fan hey, of CCR. Now, I'm I love, sorry. I love me some Creedence now. I just... It's how he says his voids that gets on my noise. <laughs> Angie, you're right, he, yes. Yes, uh, Sean said that too. Yeah, right, he. yeah, Sean, yeah. You're right, he was good. And I love that one, uh, stealing when I should have been buying. Hi, Lisa. Hey, good Eli. You. How you doing, sister? Jaguar said, I've met Johnny Van Zamp. We're from the same town, same side of town. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, that's neat. See, I went, you know, Jared was, um, Jared's, you know, the Southern rock, you know, the classic rock, the soft rock, where I went more towards Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Alice in Chains. You know, I went to that side of the rock genre, and we do not listen to the same music still to this no, day at all, not at all. all. If we want to listen to our music, we put our headphones on because we do not agree. No, I say I'll listen to like classic rock, some '80s rock, metal stuff, and then I'll even go over and listen to some uh, some Motown, some doo wop, uh, all the way to uh, some blues to Buck Owens. You know, <laughs> I mean, and uh, <laughs> Eliza says, "Freaking Alice in Chains." <laughs> Loretta Lynn's granddaughter was just on American Idol. I'm named after Loretta Lynn. My name is Laura Lynn. But I'm not I'm not a country fan. I'm not There's a whole story behind it I'm not going to get into. I just I do not like country music. It's no offense to nobody else. You listen to what you listen to, you know? I got no prejudice against it or nothing. It's just not for me. That's why I am by new age country. Yeah, it's it's just not for me, and you're the same way. Yeah, I said now the old classic country, that's back when country music was country music, and the kind of like nowadays rock. I can't stand nowadays rock. Yeah, to me nowadays the only rock that's even halfway good is the uh, what is it, the Greta Fleet band? Greta Von Fleet. Yeah, Greta Van Fleet. Them one boys that sounds like Led Zeppelin. Yeah, now they're really good. Uh, I've heard of King Diamond. Uh, who said that? Give me a second. I gotta go back up here and find it. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of King Diamond. I think Angus played that for me. Um, and even with uh, tell me that you like Cinderella. Does that, are they the one? no? It wasn't Cinderella. It was Slaughter that had the song I liked. Anyway, some of the um, uh, some of the classic rock and the you know glam rock and all that. Some of it I do like. Can you I, take me high enough? Yeah, I like that song. Um, I'm just more fond of the harder. I like how it sounds. You know, that's just me though. What happened? Did, holy cricket. <laughs> okay. Um, wait. Oh, Greta Van Fleet. Okay. I thought it was just my eyes playing. So was my cousin Laura, but we call her Lori. I get called everything under the sun. <laughs> People like to mispronounce my name as Laura, but that's not that's not it. it. <laughs> is Jana here? There she is. Hi, Jana. Hey, Jana. How you doing, sister? Good to see you. I've heard Merciful Fate. I've heard of Anthrax. King Diamond. Do, do, do. Hey, it was good to see you, and I thank you so much for coming in tonight. We're Absolutely. fixing to, It's a blessing to have you with us. We're fixing to be going, too. I've got to get uh, finished getting this stuff packed up because we are leaving early in the morning. Yep, we got to head out and go up to Virginia, going up there to the Angles Castle, Rafford, Virginia, and meet up with uh, the spooky one. <laughs> yeah, and I got a special gift to give to him that it took me about a week to work on. It's special. Ain't nobody else got one like it. You're not their uh, native. Hey, Van and Becky. Good to see you. Hey, folks. But uh, also, folks, I will be live tomorrow night. I don't know how long I'll be on, but I will be on, like I said, because our sister, uh, Jennifer, is birthday is tomorrow. Yep. So I'm going to be on to sing happy birthday to her, and we'll kind of give you some updates on how everything's going up there and yep. things like that. Uh, I'll set a, uh, I'll make a post in the morning as soon as we head out. I said, I'll make a post and stuff and everything. So if it's what I said, just keep us in your prayers for safe travels and stuff. Yeah. Sean, I love the bass player for promise. He could tear that thing up. He did all kinds of stuff. Oh Lord. Yeah. He did all kinds of stuff, but, uh, I'm going to have the King, uh, do us a prayer. And. Then we'll uh, play a little music on the way out. <laughs> oh, but before I do this right quick, folks, uh, I do will want to say that uh, after this is over here, uh, I will be dropping another uh, another video for you folks. Uh, it's another heartwarming one, but it's really neat. This one is really, really neat. So share it out everywhere for me, folks. Like I said, I want, I want to see what y'all's opinions is on this story. It's amazing. Also, before you do the prayer, I want to thank everybody who has watched the last video that I put up, the uh, the story of Daisy Jane. She is now sitting at 22.2 thousand views. And if it wasn't for y'all, that video wouldn't be skyrocketing like it is. I thank y'all so much. Y'all did an amazing job on, on that one. Best camp folk in the world. Now, and we'll let Jared... Uh, do us an ending prayer here, and then we'll play some music on out for the night. All right, folks. Heavenly Father, we come to you with our hearts together as one, and we want to thank you for giving us this time together. We love one another and enjoy it so much. And thank you, Lord, for guiding more kin folk our way, and guiding more kin folk our way that's sick, ailing, injured, got surgeries coming up, or just having a rough day so we can pray for them, keep them in our hearts, thoughts, and prayers, or maybe just make them smile and make their day a little better. Also, Lord, we ask you to please keep everybody here and their family tonight in your heart and heavenly hands, although we know you will, to comfort them, heal them. Lord, there's a whole mess of just you know, negative folks and just nastiness out there in the world. Lord, we ask you, please forgive these people and save them. 
And we ask this in your love and heavenly name. Amen. Amen. Now, if y'all want to, kick your old shoes off and let's play a little bit of music and we'll see you later. Eww,